My nog, I promise you, man. I promise y'all, man. It comes a point in time when you're just like looking at yourself in the mirror. And you say, man, am, am I the boogeyman? Am I the, am I the, the boogeyman written about in tales, you know, told beyond time immemorial, man? Am I anti their anointed? Are we anti their anointed? You see, when you got invaded, you got brought another anointed. That makes sense, right? You would do the same thing, I guess. I guess if you was a hijack. <laughs> we got invaded and they brought us their Isus. They brought us another power that stands beside our power. And then they they switch. They did a switcheroo, flip the script. And suddenly we became anti their anointed. Our anointed, right? Our Mashiach. Our King David, our Dawi, is now anti their Christ, you see. Look, my lord. All right, I mean, the book of Hosea. Hosea, which is Joshua. Joshua, Hosea, same word. Let's go. And verse 4 picks up for the children of Israel shall sit solitary many days without king, without prince. So, my naga, you waking up, you forgot you the regal negro, right? You forgot about your royal flow. And without sacrifice, pillar, without effort, without teraphim, afterwards shall the children of Israel return, right? So now you popping off because the children have returned. Now, here's the instructions. <laughs> Here's the order. The first thing you're going to do is seek, right? You're going to investigate. You're going to empty your cup because clearly you didn't have the drop before you return, my naga. Clearly, you weren't seeking clearly. So after you return, you're going to have to start searching. You're going to have to pop off an investigation and you're going to have to seek Hawa. They say, Lord. Strong's Concordance H1961 would take you to Hawa. You just got to keep walking to get to your power. So the first thing you do is you seek your power, not their power, <laughs> not their Christ. Seek your framer and your shaper, your ama, your abba, your mother, your father. Seek your power, my naga. And then when you have connected to Hawa, you seek David, my naga. These are instructions, Hosea 3, verse 4. So first, the children of Israel shall return. Then you seek your creator, my naga. Right? Then you get on your David flow. Why? Because David got the keys, my naga. David got the keys. David got the keys to the vortexes right here, my naga. We popping off, man. Shout out to the lady dragons on the wall, man. Khalifa got the keys. Sheba got the keys, my naga. What do you know about David and Bathsheba? Uh-oh. David, their king, their Khan. Because we speak Hebrew. We don't speak English. We don't know about no king. We know we got a Khan, which is a priest. Wong Khan, priest, priest. Priest. So if it's not in the anointed flow, this it ain't us. The hijack just got kings, right? We have cons. Con of cons. That's our chief. That's our flow. So when you connect to the creator, you start to seek Prester John. You start to seek, right? Because <laughs> after you return, you start to seek. Now, have they been seeking? Prester means priest. John means king. Priest, king. Yeah, they... Portuguese were looking for the priest king for over 500 years. Exactly 500 years, my knock. So who are they searching for? You already know. Uh, did a black man discover the fountain of youth, my knock? Or are we just talking the priest king? Priest king. Prester Juan. Juan. John. Yeah, man. <laughs> so they're searching for David, my knock. The question is, are you? Hosea 3. Afterward, the children shall return, seek the Creator and David. 
and shall come trembling unto Hawa and to his goodness in the end of days, Manak. <laughs> the end of days. This is why we search for Prester John. Now the question is, is Prester John their Antichrist? Is King David anti their Christ? Because their Christ is their anointed. You're Mashiach. <laughs> You're searching for him, man. If the Christians had a scripture like this, this scripture would be on every bumper sticker <laughs> in every city. You, you're just hearing about it. That you got a script to tell you to seek Hawa and to search for the priest and king. The same one they've been searching for, my naga. I mean, you know what I'm saying? At some point, you become regal again. Is this their Antichrist popping off? Jeremiah chapter 30. Let's get it from right here. Verse 8. And it shall come to pass in that day, says Hawa. That I will break the yoke from off your neck and will burst your bands. And strangers shall no more make him their bondman. My naga, this is the creator saying the creator is about to rock and pop off. <laughs> you ain't got to do no deals for this, my naga. The creator is saying I will break his yoke from off your... The creator is returning. And then what? Strangers shall no more make them they slaves. You they slaves. But they shall serve Hawa their power and what? David their king whom I will raise up <laughs> unto them. Wait a minute man. You're telling me the creator is raising up somebody else but Jesus. Yeah my naga, this is the end of days man. This is Jeremiah the prophet my naga, saying that David will return. David will be what? Raised up my noggin. Con, con. <laughs> Ezekiel 37, man. Let's pop off, man. Verse 21. And say unto them, Thus says Hawa, your power. Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations where they have gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mount of Israel, and one king, my naga, one king, my naga, one king shall be shall be king to them all. One king, my naga. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of their dwelling places, my naga. You all good, my naga. We popping off. Wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their power. And what? My servant David shall be king over them. So this is our third witness. We got it in Hosea. We got it in Jeremiah. We're getting it in Ezekiel. Three witnesses saying that David's coming back. David shall be king over them. And they shall have one shepherd. Not two, not three, not four. So dies the hijack. They shall also walk in my ordinances and observe my statutes. We keep the code and we do them, my And we're going to dwell in our land, my naga. So we popping off is the question is, since David is returning, is that who they consider as their Antichrist or their Adejah, my naga? Adejah? Are we talking about David? This is off the Lost, Tr Lost Tribes and Promised Lands by Ronald Sanders. Get it in the dry library. The Catalan map presents the essential imagery and lore of this tradition. The wall is depicted as well as Alexander himself, Satan, Gog, and Magog and antichrist but there's peculiarities in this presentation for one thing the iconography is as elsewhere on the map rather free from explicitly christian symbols for another there is an odd serenity about it all with nothing of the terror normally found in christian visions of the apocalypse and antichrist so this antichrist does not carry the terror why the depiction of the antichrist is especially startling it is what in what is the largest and most elaborate scene on the map, we see a benevolent medieval monarch, a benevolent monarch, a good monarch. That's their antichrist. Love to spitfire. What is a Dijal? All right, we're talking Dijal. We're talking lie, deception, deceiver. It says, for he is assisted by an army of demons, or are we just talking dragons, my naga? But Dijal is also going to perform miracles, grow vegetation, raise the dead, right? <laughs> so whose story is this? Love to my bro, love to my bro, EDU is life, man, for this link right here, man. Get the drop, get the drop. 
Allah's apostle said, Shall I not tell you about the Dajjal and the story in which no prophet told his nation that the Dajjal is one-eyed and will bring them with that resemble hell and paradise? And what will he call paradise will be actually hell. So I warn you, as Noah warned his one nation against him. Now it says that when the people mentioned before Abbas that the Dajjal would have the kafir, or they say unbeliever, but we're about to look up this word kafir, or the letters kafir, the root of the Arabic verb disbelieve, written on his forehead. Okay, here's the trickery, my naga, for the dismount. Here's the trickery. Are we just talking David, my naga? <laughs> and who's this kafir about? What's the kafir about? Because this kafir is going to be written on his forehead, right? Love to spit fire. We're just talking kafir. Uh-oh. Is an ethnic slur used to refer to a person of Naguni, Naga, Naguni descent in the form of Kafri. It often it evolved during the pre-colonial period as an equivalent of what? Negro. So he got the Kafir written across his forehead. He got the Negro <laughs> written across his forehead, my Naga. We just talking Kafir, right? We just talking Kafir. Another link, list of ethnic slurs, man. We just talking Kafir. What does it say right here? Kafir, South Africa, a black person. Okay. Got it, boss. <laughs> got him. So he got the Kafir. He got the Negro <laughs> written across his forehead, man. And you know what I mean? Look, dubbed as the Antichrist or the false Messiah or Dijal. Right, so this Negro <laughs> is coming back, man. My Naga, is you the is you their version of the Antichrist, man? Did they make us their false messiah, right? Because whose lens is it anyway? Who's false messiah? Who's antichrist? Who's anti their messiah? Who's anti their Christ? Who's anti their Mashiach? Well we know that David is right is rising again, my Naga. And we know that our Creator has already given us the victory. And check this out right here. Lastly, another hint. Let me get it right here, run down. Here we go. Another hint gave us about the Dajjal is that he would have the word Kafir, right? written between his eyebrows on his forehead, the believers of Allah and Islam would clearly be able to see the word even if others can't. So what are they saying? <laughs> what are they saying? Are they just saying the uh, Negro? We're just talking Kafir. And how's the, Na how's the Naga playing into this, man? Is the Negro their Antichrist? Well, they did give us, you know, an anti uh anti-creator uh, doctrine, you know what I'm saying? They got us all into idolatry and they made us the Naga, the Negro, the Kafir, right? Written across his forehead, the Kafir. They made us the Antichrist, my Naga, right in our face, ball. Again, the Jaw would have the word Kafir written on his forehead. <laughs> so, what, nigger? I mean, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Negro? I did not hear this, but the prophet said, if you want to see Abraham, then look at your companion, i.e. the prophet. But Moses was a curly-haired brown man. Oh, boy. Who rode a red camel. Moses was a curly-haired brown man that rode a red camel. Now look at this description. Dajjal's left eye would also be defective and green in color. The prophet said that Dajjal's complexion would be ready, ready white. So they go from ready brown to ready white. Talking about the Davids, talking about the Moshe's. And we're just saying, man, are we rising up? My servant David shall be king over them. They shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my ordinances and observe my statutes and do them. My Naga, we just keeping the code around here, man. Did a black man discover uh, the fountain of you? And that's for you to investigate, because they're searching for him, and we seeking. Allah, why?